Hi everyone. Uh, today I want to introduce uh, my packing for the bike to travel to Japan by international flight. This time I bring my mountain bike to Japan. I usually bring my folding bike, tri folding bike to Japan, so it is more easy, easier to bring. Uh, by the airplane, but uh, because the size is small, but this time the mountain bike is bigger than tripod folding bike, and uh, I choose the 26 inches old type mountain bike to bring Japan this time, because uh, this is first time for me to bring the full bike by airplane. So I want to handle as small as possible. So the mountain bike is usually coils are 29R usually very common or 27.5. But all the type mountain bike has smaller coils, 26, right? So the I can pack a little bit smaller than the latest one. Let's this. Let's check this. This three pack is the packing I have to bring to Japan. See this one. These two is bike. This pack is a frame only. Frame only. I remove the front and rear foil to separate to the frame. And using this coil back. This coil back is very very big. Not thin type, but uh, very very fat, fat or thick back, thick thick or bigger. Can put in the two coils. But another, for example, the jersey or some other wheels or some other equipment inside also. Usually many people try to put in the full bike in the one box. One box means for the hub case or some bigger size case. Pack in the full bike with hoyers. So the hub cases tend to be bigger than the regulation of the airlines, right? So the we have to pay for extra charge to check in the baggage as a oversized baggage right and the weight is heavier so that we have to pay for more money for the more than the two or three hundred very very expensive but airlines if we use the <coughs> box or cases under their regulation we can check in for free usually economy class can check in two baggage as free check-in baggage uh, if the size is below the their regulation. So I have divided these two so that these two, uh, each of the baggage is below the regulation of the airline for checking free. So I use this time two boxes. Of course, the, this frame is mountain bike and a bit bigger and I put in the some tools or some chains or some other equipment in this bag. And weight is around 20 kg and 26 wheels in this bag. And I put in another judge or wear or some other equipment tools carriers, so other thing also packing this. This pack is 18 kg, but under their regulation to bring, to check in for free. So I have to, these two big baggage, 20 kg and 80 kg to check in as my free check-in luggage. 
and I bring in the uh, carrying this bag. This bag has some uh, equipment and some tools for my trip. Of course, minimum size because uh, this size is very big. But I can put uh, enough wheels in this box. So it's okay. And another thing, these wax are very, very heavy, right? 18 kg and 20 kg, all very heavy. If I have to bring these baggage by myself, because this time I travel by myself alone, I don't want to carry this baggage carrying by myself. So I will check in this baggage and uh, get out the baggage claim at their airport in Japan, this time Haneda Airport. I can use the carry balloon and uh, carry these big boxes. But I just bring to the counter to the domestic logistic companies counter to deliver these two boxes to my hotel, first hotel directly, so that I don't have to carry out from the airport to bring this heavy baggage to my first hotel. So it is the point. So I want to show you how to handle these very big bags to enjoy cycling by myself alone in Japan. The point is the size of these cases. Of course, I have to I uh, use the, not only the much the size for the airline deviation, but also much the size for domestic logistic service in Japan. This is the point. These two boxes are under the regulation of them. So that I can ask them to deliver these box, usual regular delivery service. I just pay for the $50 or something to send these boxes so that I don't have to carry uh, these box go through to the station or some other uh, trains. No need. I have just this minimum package to walk around in Japan from airport to the first hotel. Of course, I We'll stay one night without these bikes to enjoy Tokyo night to have a dinner or some uh, shopping or sightseeing bring me these bikes maybe I also this bag can send to the first hotel but uh, at least I don't have to these bigger ones so the very very hard wall for foreign tourists to travel Japan by with their own bike is how to handle, how to bring in the bike and how to handle their bike around Japan, especially not riding the bike. Of course, they can ride to move anywhere by their own bike, but uh, once they have to uh, use another transporter, train, taxi, bus, these bikes are very, very troublesome for them because how to carry, who can store these bikes. So this problem, this issue, I will solve the problem. I can show you how to do it. So uh, this time I will uh, up there some episodes to explain these matters. The, please check the next e episode also to check how to handle your own bike in Japan for traveling around. Thank you for watching. Bye.